We're kind of big deals. Wow. Maybe we should edit that part. Yeah. Tonight, we're making pork meatballs with beet and cranberry agridulce, I think. That's what the ingredients look like. And so is that. So we've got the, uh, let's see, pork meatball spice blend, brown mustard seeds, sugar, that's a uh, French cream. I don't know what that is. Pork, baby kale, yeah. It's my pearl farro, chives, beets, cranberries, and red wine vinegar. All right, so we've got the chives all finely cut up, the shallots finely cut up, and the beets cut in small pieces. We've got some salted water here getting ready to boil so we can throw the faro in. All right, now that we've got the water boiling, we're gonna go ahead and uh, toss our semi-pearled faro into the water. We're just gonna let that cook for 18 minutes until it's soft. All right, so while the faro is cooking, we're gonna go and cook a teaspoon of oil here. Then we're gonna add the shallots to the pan. We're just gonna do about half of them. Then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. And let that cook up there. Make sure not to burn yourself, because not very fun. And now after about 30 seconds to a minute, we're gonna go ahead and add the baby kale to the shallots. All right, now that the kale's all wilted, we're going to take it out of the pan, put it on a cutting board, and let it cool down a bit. So now we're going and molding our pork into roughly 10 to 12 meatballs with the meatball spice mix. And then we've drained our farro and put it back in the pot. All right, so now that we've got a teaspoon of oil here, we're just gonna go and put the meatballs onto the pan. Let them sit there for about a couple minutes. And now that everything is browned, we're gonna go ahead and add the cranberries. The remaining shallots. We're gonna add the beets. And let this cook for about three to four minutes until everything is nice and soft. Now to the far, we're going to add our kale. And add the French cream here. We're just going to mix that all up in there. Okay, now to our meatballs, we're going to add some of the brown mustard seeds and the sugar. Half a cup of water three-fourths of the bottle of the red wine vinegar. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and plate our dish. Got the farro coming on here. And we're gonna add our meatballs. And then we're going to go ahead and add the cranberries and beets. And then sprinkle some chives on top. Alright, so now here is the picture of our pork meatballs with beet and cranberry agridulce. And there is the real thing. Yeah, it's pretty close. But the real question is, how does it taste? All right, so we are doing the review a little bit later 
because while we were trying to eat, we were being invaded by the monsters. Children. So, uh, tonight was the uh, night two review of the uh, pork meatballs with the agridolce. It, uh, so it was supposed to take like, again, like 30 minutes to make, and it took about uh, 30 minutes to make. Not too bad. Um, how did it taste? It was okay. I mean, it was like, oh, there's different foods that I don't normally eat, like beets. Mom, if you're watching, I had beets for dinner tonight. I know how much you like beets. She actually hates beets a lot. And cranberries and farro and chives and pink meatballs. That was kind of interesting. It was, it was decent. Mm-hmm. I just I keep telling Chris though I really miss the meals that we had when we had Green Chef. We might just have to go back to them after we try everything else first. But it was it was good. We've got we've got a lot of of uh, stuff coming to us that we're we're trying out and going to be doing reviews on each one. So it'll give you an idea of uh, what I don't know, just what other people think. I mean, there's lots of reviews out there, but. The I think the main thing out of it is is um, not not just like the ingredients, um, how easy is it for it to to uh, cook it, but most of all, how does it taste? Because I mean, if if you get you can have like amazing ingredients, be a pain in the rear to cook, and taste horrible because it's not the best recipe. I mean, across the board, which one? would be best so far in our opinion which is pretty up there i mean we're kind of big deals wow so uh the the review there the the thoughts i have on green chef was when they give you, when, when they say, okay, you need to go and, and use a pepper, the pepper was already quartered because we only needed a quarter of a pepper, making it zero waste. At the, at the end of it all, mm -hmm. we had zero waste. With Blue Apron, they sent us two beets. We only used one. Right out of the ground. Yeah, and it, and it was right out of the ground. I mean, the mm -hmm. thing was dirty um i mean i don't care if something's dirty but when you look at presentation as far as something being in a sealed bag that is a quartered pepper and it's all ready and it's all clean and it says organic on it i'm it's the organic label it's a big deal. i don't ride the organic bandwagon because i think of a, a lot of it's just <clears throat> overrated she I mean, doesn't. I think that it depends on what it is. There's certain foods <clears throat> that are definitely better to have organic, and certain foods, it doesn't matter if it's organic or not. So, I'm not going to go and spend more just because it's organic. But it depends if, on what it is. Yeah. But if, if I go and I order some food, and they send it to me and it's all organic, to me that is more appealing uh, than just getting something that your guess is as good as mine is if it's... Whether it's organic or not, whether it's covered in pesticide, but also at the same time, when I get a beet that looks like it's right out of the ground, yeah, it looks fresh. But what do you think about that? Comment below. <laughs> tonight's tonight's dinner, uh, I liked. I thought it was it was really good because. The, the sweetness of of the cranberries and then the the beets weren't overwhelming. The farro was actually really good. The meatballs were a little dry. I cooked them exactly how they said, but I don't know. That was probably my bad, not on them. I I don't know. I think these meals are pretty cool just because normally I would never eat cranberries or beets or any of this stuff yeah 
So it's a great way to introduce yourself to a whole new world of, of food. A that, variety in your diet yeah. that you wouldn't normally get. So I think it's, it's great. Yeah. Speaking of variety, I know everybody is really used to having your, your standard Snickers. <laughs> yeah. What? What is that? This one's peanut butter. Okay. I don't even know we're going to do this tonight. Mmm. I stole the kids' Halloween candy. <laughs> they have a whole drawer full. They're they're okay. <laughs> Perks of being a parent: mm. being able to steal your kids' candy. Dinner yeah. tonight. Dinner tonight. I can't give it a full thumbs up, but I can't get it of a sideways thumb. So again, it's gonna be three quarters. Oh, my bracelets on there. This for bracelets for my kids. Each color represents my kids. Jeffrey, Coral, and Talia. The meal tonight was, was really good because it got me out of my, uh, what I normally would eat. It gave me a good variety in my diet. But like you said, the meatballs were a little dry. and But it was good. Like, I would eat it, 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 eat it again. I don't know. If you had to. Yeah. But I wasn't like, wow. Definitely not. <clears throat> This is on my happy face. <laughs> I, know, I haven't eaten one of these in a long time. I'm going to eat a hundred grand. It's not organic. I know. You really shouldn't eat that. And you wonder why I'm fat. <laughs> 